Nintendo Switch Sports has finally been released, and I've been playing it pretty much non-stop ever since I got it. It's going to take me a while to form a complete opinion on the game as a whole and create a full review, so I thought I'd just give you some of my first thoughts and impressions of the game so you don't have to wait too long. This is going to be pretty casual and not super structured, I'll save all that stuff for the review. So right off the bat, the biggest question is, is Nintendo Switch Sports any good? Well so far, my answer is, yeah, it's pretty good. It isn't anything mind-blowing, and it has some problems, but it's good, just not incredible. It's about what I expected, which is a solid and enjoyable sports game that's fun to play, but doesn't reach the same heights as Wii Sports Resort. I'll be bouncing between things I do and don't like about the game to try and keep things somewhat balanced. But let's start with some of the stuff I like about this game, because there's still a lot to like here. One thing that I can confidently say is 100% positive is the music and the way it's been implemented. Most of the sports from past Wii Sports games have no music when you're playing the actual sport, with some exceptions like Swordplay Showdown and Cycling. But now each sport has a full theme song that plays during the gameplay, and it even transitions into an alternate version of the song during replays. This is super cool, and it makes the sports feel really fresh and fun. The gameplay has a new sense of energy thanks to the music that's playing, and it makes things a lot more exciting. I also really appreciate how the music is totally original, and not just remixes of the classic music. Of course I love the classic Wii Sports music, but I'm glad they did something new this time around. I've really been enjoying the music. It's one of my favorite parts of the game so far. It's so happy and upbeat, I just love listening to it. Okay, now that the positivity is flowing, let's bring it down with some pure disappointment. Sadly, there is no open world or free roam of any kind, so Spoko Square is basically just a glorified menu screen, which is a huge bummer. Of course, I still miss Woohoo Island, but Spoko Square is an awesome new location that I love the vibes of, so it's a shame that we don't get to explore it. The overworld map looks so highly detailed that it really looks like there should be an open hub area, and Soccer already has the full movement system, so I feel like it would be pretty easy. I'm not kidding when I say that simply adding a free roaming option would make me enjoy this game like five times as much. It just sucks that Nintendo did all this world-building work to create Spoko Square, and then they didn't do that last little thing that would bring it all together. I guess it is possible that they could add in an open-world element later on in an update, but if that's the case, it should have been here at launch. Okay, back to some positives, there's the gameplay itself. Honestly, I think the sports gameplay is a ton of fun, and playing it has been a blast so far. I think all six sports are pretty solid, there aren't any super clear weak ones, and from what I can tell, everyone has a different favorite sport, which is a really good sign. They all feel different from each other, even badminton and tennis feel unique in their own way. I would have liked a little more variety overall, but the sports offered here are lots of fun. The Joy-Cons work surprisingly well for motion controls and it brings me the same feelings of joy that I get from the original Wii Sports games. What's especially fun is playing against other real people online. It adds a new dimension to the sports that just wasn't there in the first two games. Although I will say that it can be pretty frustrating when you get paired with teammates who don't know what they're doing. Sports like soccer and volleyball are pretty reliant on teamwork, so a weak teammate can mean there's nothing you can do to win. Playing online also earns you points that can unlock cool customization items, so it feels like there's something to work towards. The Pro League also adds a new level of depth. I haven't gotten very far in Pro League yet, but I promise you I will get to A rank in every single sport. There's just something so cool about playing a game of 4v4 soccer with a whole bunch of other people. It feels like everyone is just enjoying this fun and simple casual game with each other, which is what Wii Sports is really all about. But sadly, the new focus on the online play means that the offline modes are pretty bare bones. There's no more climbing the ranks and facing tougher and tougher CPU opponents since the Pro League serves that purpose. So in offline mode, you just select the difficulty from the start and play matches over and over again with no real purpose. This is honestly pretty disappointing for me since rising through the ranks and beating all the CPUs is one of my favorite parts of Wii Sports. There's also a lack of training mode minigames like past games had, which feels like a big missed opportunity to give the game easy content. Bowling does have a special mode that's basically like the old training modes, but the other sports don't really have any extra content aside from the main matches. So far this lack of content hasn't been a total deal breaker for me since playing the sports online is so much fun, but it's a pretty boring experience if you're playing totally by yourself. On one hand, it's cool to have a new evolved version of Wii Sports that places the emphasis on online play, but I think I'll always miss the simple offline fun of the originals. I've seen some people saying that Wii Sports Club is better than this game, but for me personally, Nintendo Switch Sports is much better than Wii Sports Club. 
If you're going to compare these two games, compare it with what Wii Sports Club was at launch, which was only tennis and bowling. Now obviously Wii Sports Resort is much better than both of these games, with an insane total of 12 sports with multiple side modes for each one. I'm really liking the visual design of the world. The background environments are super detailed and interesting, with stuff always going on around you. The game also feels really polished. The animations are really smooth and the motion controls match the animations nicely. The next thing we have to talk about is the Miis, and the way they were implemented. Now I don't absolutely hate the sports mates, but I would have liked it more if the game focused on Miis like normal. Luckily you can still play as your Mii if you want to, but just as I guessed, the customization options are very limited when using a Mii. You can't equip headgear, glasses, or earrings if you're using a Mii, and certain unlockables like eye color don't really mean anything. This is pretty disappointing since the main form of progression is through the unlockables. I've been exclusively using my Mii so far, but I might end up switching to a sportsmate since the game is basically forcing me to by limiting the Mii's customization options. I'm glad the Mii's are at least an option, but it feels like they were added in as an afterthought and not really meant to be used if you want to get the most out of the game. But other than the disappointing Mii support, I think the focus on customization is really cool. Being able to put on different clothes and change your sports gear itself is really awesome. Even though I have complaints, I still want to emphasize just how much fun I'm having with Nintendo Switch Sports so far. The gameplay is really solid and enjoyable, and playing online with other people is super fun. I wish this game would have launched with more sports, but I'm glad we're at least getting some more added in later. I'm not a huge fan of the free DLC model that Nintendo has been doing lately, but I honestly feel like Nintendo Switch Sports is a solid base to build off of. This game has pretty much been exactly what I expected, and it sadly hasn't been able to exceed my expectations in any way. But the sports are fun, the music is great, the world is interesting, and the focus on online gives it so much replayability. The game has some pretty significant problems, yes, but that isn't stopping me from enjoying my time with the game so far. I'm just really glad to have a modern entry in this series that I've loved for so long. I'm not really sure how I feel about the game as a whole yet, and it'll take a while to sort through all of my thoughts and come to any conclusions. But currently I can say that Nintendo Switch Sports is a good time. But what do you think? Have you gotten this game yet, and what do you think of it compared to the previous games? Honestly, this game is making me appreciate Wii Sports Resort even more. Anyways, that's some of my first thoughts and impressions of this game. Now I'm gonna go keep playing, even though the game itself keeps telling me to take a break. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see ya in the next one.